Imagine the scene. You're cruising along in your spiffy submarine, exploring the ocean's depths, when suddenly your vessel decides to throw a colossal temper tantrum and implode. It's like a giant underwater vacuum cleaner, sucking you and your submarine into the abyss. But what exactly happens during this dramatic event, and what are the chances of survival? The science behind the spectacle, unveiling the implosion phenomenon. As you descend into the ocean's depths, the pressure around you increases exponentially. This relentless force exerted by the weight of water above is measured in units of pounds per square inch, PSI. At the surface, the pressure is a mere 14.7 psi, a comfortable level that allows us to breathe and move freely. However, with every 33 feet you descend, the pressure doubles, reaching a staggering 1,000 psi at a depth of 1,000 feet. The deeper you go, the thinner the margin of error, and the finer the balance between your vessel's strength and the ocean's might. Your submarine is designed to withstand this immense force, but there's a limit. Once you exceed the submarine's crushed depth, the pressure becomes too much for the hull to handle, and it collapses inwards in a split second. It's like a crushing hug from the ocean, except far less pleasant. The Implosion's Impact a whirlwind of underwater chaos. When a submarine implodes, it's not just a gentle collapse, it's an explosion in reverse. The sudden inward rush of water creates a shockwave that travels through the submarine at supersonic speeds, tearing through everything in its path. The force is so immense that it can crush human bodies, vaporize liquids and even turn metal into shrapnel. Survival chances, a slim, hope in a deep, dark sea. The chances of surviving a submarine implosion are incredibly slim. The shockwave and implosion itself are usually fatal. And even if you survive the initial impact, the rapid decompression will cause your body to explode like a party balloon without a knot. It's not a pleasant thought, but hey, at least you'll have a front row seat to the grand implosion spectacle. Prevention. Dodging the underwater bullet. Submarine implosions are rare, but they do happen. That's why submarine designers and operators take great care to ensure that submarines never exceed their crush depth. They use sophisticated sensors and monitoring systems to keep track of the pressure and depth, and they have strict protocols in place for dealing with emergencies. The Aftermath, a tale of recovery and lessons learned. When a submarine implosion occurs, it's a tragedy. The loss of life is immense, and the impact on the submarine community is profound. But in the aftermath, there's always a search for answers, a quest to understand what happened and how to prevent it from happening again. The findings from these investigations lead to improvements in submarine design and operational procedures, making the underwater world a safer place to explore. So what's the takeaway? Submarine implosions are a dramatic reminder of the power of the ocean and the importance of respecting its immense forces, they're also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit as we constantly strive to conquer the depths and unravel the mysteries of the underwater world. And while we might not be able to completely eliminate the risk of implosions, we can learn from our mistakes, make our submarines safer, and continue to explore the ocean's depths with a healthy dose of respect and caution. Until next time, stay curious, keep challenging the status quo,